Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another installment of Margin Starcraft and today we're gonna bring you a match on Metalopolis between Lindstorm and that. Well, I actually took the time to translate that and apparently it means wrong wrong and wrong wrong is technically a Chinese player, I think. Uh, not wrong with a W, but with an R. So R-O-N-G, R-O-N-G. So Wrong Wrong is going to be a Protoss, it is a versus Protoss, and it's going to be on Metalopolis, spawning on the, um, on the same side of the map, because this map is uh, cut diagonally, and we have the 12 o'clock and what, the 8 o'clock positions right here for our two players. Uh, sadly, as you can see, because there is no, because my picture is in the bottom right corner um, you can figure that this is again a uh, replay uh, pre-patch 1.1.2 uh, uh, why well I can't find any replays except my own and I'm really not gonna cast those terrible games um, you'll see you'll notice that when our new replays will be up from post patch there we go we have a little bit of probe fighting here which probe will go down and ah very nice maneuver by wrong wrong but bringing in that second probe and we have a kill on one of these probes this hero probe with one kill he's still a disciple but he has one kill all his brethren don't have one kill so it's basically haha i'm a killer you guys are not so we have a standard opening from both players so far the gateway so what i wanted to say when you won't see my my, my uh, logo right here we'll see will be because we are post patch replays you wonder but why wouldn't you have uh, your logo on post patch replays well simply because adding a logo to a video in the encoding time increases the encoding duration by about 25 percent so let's say you have a 20 minute video that requires about a 40 minute encoding it takes about an hour or 50 minutes if you simply add that little that little uh, commercial for your channel there uh, that I have on right now you but you why you might wonder but why add it well you usually add it simply because to um, hide the replay duration uh, you might uh, and to keep audiences guessing on how long the matches last they could simply check the video bar on the bottom of the screen uh, but a lot of people do not a lot of people want to be surprised and sometimes of course you will have a little bit of post game commenting and the game finishes a little bit early and well, you simply don't want to spoil the ending for anybody you didn't and you have your audience go okay the game ends in three two one and there's the victory just not allow your audience to see that meanwhile again we have standard builds for both players that there's a stalker that is an early zealot out for lindstorm and he is following that little bit of probe and the probe dies poor probe does the stalker does the zealot have the kill no the zealot does not have the kill so we have co uh, gateway core co uh, gateway lindstorm for lindstorm meanwhile we have gateway core gateway and another gateway let's see is the let's bring out the production tab we have a stalker on the way for wrong wrong i believe the stalker has already finished for lindstorm yes there's a stalker a lot of gateways being pulled so identical builds from both these players there is warp gate tech is almost on the same uh, production uh, on the same time meanwhile we have let's see we'll have four gateways for lindstorm only three for wrong wrong so in the end this might be a little bit of reinforcing ability for lindstorm and he might actually get the advantage if it comes to some kind of early kind of pressure and we'll see what that happens and we'll see how that happens so there we go canceling a pylon i believe right there but here comes the probe to, the probe to lay down a proxy pylon no proxy pylon as of yet for wrong wrong so he's now actually scouting for that proxy pylon and here comes the attack and ah uh, the probe actually manages to get away so see uh, wrong wrong has actually managed to scout this probe and scout this pylon strangely enough he's not attacking he's following the army i don't know if that's a good idea here come reinforcing stalkers one stalker goes down five stalkers here let's check out the army had no production as of yet uh, the units tab we have four stalkers and three stalkers and one's a lot for uh, Lindstorm and four stalkers from for wrong wrong however this is really bad because the pylon is done and here comes one stalker actually falls from the reinforcing units and bringing a couple of more zealots I don't know if zealots 
are that good against stalkers but hey they can actually do a little bit of damage if they manage to catch up to the stalkers do we have another gateway no a twilight council so wrong wrong is going <laughs> for a tech a very nice pylon position i have to say actually creating a wall in here if you think uh, about it because hey the wall in will not allow any units to run directly into the mineral line just funneling all the units to go around and here comes Lindstorm with the attack but sadly he does not have big enough there now he does and now focusing fire on one of those stalkers zealots coming in there there is a sentry oh very nice for the use of force fields but the sentry actually falls and now the stalkers are stuck down there and uh, but they are gonna da do a little bit of damage to the gateway but now they're gonna get pounded and here comes the reinfor more reinforcing stalkers for Lindstorm, another sentry is up, another guardian shield being used, again separation of the army, again these three stalkers are not in the best position, they probably could be here to take out the sentry and now Lindstorm has, is still pushing in there, I don't think that's such a good idea, the sentry is out of energy but another reinforcing sentry, so as you can see sentry is doing their bit very perfectly and here gonna come another shield and again separating the army, I don't think Lindstorm is doing that well when it comes to this kind of play, as you saw the APM is not that high for these players, these I don't, uh, they are diamond league, I think this is not masters league simply because hey the replay is not post patch, I can't wait to bring you masters league replays. Um, if you want a Masters League replay, there is one from uh, HD Gamer. Um, he, he is actually the player in Masters League. I am, well, not in Masters League. So, gonna be focusing down this pylon. Very nice play. If he manages to take out three pylons, he will be able to unpower these gateways. But these pylons are actually protected. But now Lindstorm's continuously push of forces is slowly paying up. If we look at the units lost tab, Lindstorm is actually ahead. With more reinforcing units. But again, reinforcing units for the no, wrong wrong are only three wild. Uh, Lindstorm can bring four at a time. Here comes a forge. Chrono boost. This chrono boost being used. Uh, chrono boost is on full. Not necessarily the best of choice. Chrono boost could be used to uh, reinforce these units. Where are the hell are these guys going? They're going on defensive. I don't know. He could actually finish the game if he would continuously push. There is a dark shrine on the way, and the dark shrine has been scouted. When so observers should uh, come into play. And here comes the zealots. Very nice micro from the stalkers, gonna take out the zealots, but gonna take a little bit of more health damage on these stalkers. And another few zealots going in, where, where the hell, why are these units here, I don't even know, for the defensive or what. Um, let's see, there is, um, I suppose the tower should be laid down in case of those Dark Templars. Meanwhile, the Dark Shrine is finished, so we will see Dark Templar pretty soon. Right now, Dark Templar are awesome because there's no robotics facility on the map, so to speak. So a Dark, uh, Tem Dark Templars in the attacking army or in army versus army will do a lot of damage. And here come two Dark Templars. The Photon Cannon are almost done, and they're going to take out the Photon Cannons. One Photon Cannon going down, and this other Photon Cannon is complete. This a little bit, and now the, there is vision on the Dark Templars, so these Dark Templars need to move out of the range of this Photon Cannon, and one Dark Templar got scouted, but the other Dark Templar will be able to do a little bit of damage, taking out a couple of probes, two kills, three kills, and now soon this thing will be complete, and now the Dark Templar probably will get into the vision of that one, and both Dark Templars are dead. Uh, if we look at the units lost, uh, again, Lindstorm isn't a slight advantage, using the Forge Vision via Photon Cannons to get the scout I don't know if that was the best choice. And here we have a robotics facility. Going to get out of probably a couple of observers. God, I love the Dark Shrine. The Dark Shrine is epic. I really need to slot the... And here is another Dark Templar. Oh, this Templar does not have a sight. Has that blade on his um, arm. Just like Baraka. Taking out a pylon. And he did get into the side of vision. He did get... He needs to maneuver just perfectly outside the vision of these cannons. These cannons actually very, have a very nice position. Scouting this entire area. And scouting this entire area. So this poor Dark Templar is on the... Uh, on the defensive, another uh, see a robotics facility on the way for the observer and gonna run past and probably gonna kill that one probe. Gonna take out this pylon as well. I suppose the pylon that actually should that should be on uh, wrong wrong's targeting list would be this one, the reinforcing pylon, but that's not happening. Uh, he knows that it's there, so uh, um, yeah. So here comes the Dark Templar. He's actually finally gonna take out this. Uh, 
this reinforcing pylon and bringing in a couple of zealots to four forcing but he knows he has enough of the uh, army to deal with that inside the base so he decides to use his dark templar and that huge damage he does as you can see 45 damage these guys hit like a truck they are completely soft but they hit like a truck so yes mm, um what else we do have a immortal on the way no observer so to speak of because i suppose he's not worrying that the uh, wrong wrong is not at all worried to see if he's gonna have uh, any kind of dark templar play from lindstorm meanwhile we have a small problem from lindstorm the continuously massive units he produced earlier here we have another dark templar scouting the map uh massive units and now br bring out an observer has completely drained his base as you can see his base is beginning to look mined out he needs to expand pretty soon meanwhile wrong wrong is doing that he has also lost a lot of resources when it comes to that place simply because hey he has been forced to reinforce and reinforce all his units and we have a pylon here for the defensive Whee. Very intense gameplay from these guys so far. Here comes an observer to scout this army. He actually has scouted it. Meanwhile, do we have an observer for wrong wrong units tab says we have actually yes one observer. While we have only we have two for Lindstorm. Meanwhile, laying down a proxy pylon. I believe these two observers are viewing each other. Let's see. Yep. Research the complete. two guys are viewing each other, and this observer is gonna fall and pew 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 pew. pew. But wrong wrong is moving in. Uh, I mean, sorry, Lindstorm moving in from the side. And and here we go we're gonna have a lot of zealots versus a lot of zealots and a lot of stalkers however this immortal is the two immortals are getting focus fired and sadly that means that wrong wrong uh, is in the slight advantage because immortals soak up so much damage with the shield as you can see stalkers do 14 damage and that means that the immortal shield is actually doing pretty pretty well uh, for itself now lindstorm is actually being pushed a little bit back because he only has a stalker and a zealot and a couple of more zealots up here so but a reinforcing uh, a reinforcing dragoon is here to do the damage and we'll see how that <laughs> reinforcing dragoon immortal and the immortal using its gigantic gigantic phase disruptors to shoot however the shield just protecting the immortal and we have a couple of zealots there is finally a sentry here for lindstorm and but there is no sentry for wrong wrong so this ramp is completely opened a lot of zealots zealots do eight damage so if zealots get a nice around on the immortal they will be completely worthless more reinforcing zealots for wrong wrong but however, Wrong Wrong does have the Zealot legs, so Zealots are gonna be running in there. Meanwhile, more reinforcing Zealots for Lindstorm. He does have this proxy pylon, so there he did running distance is going to be very really small. Blocking off the ramp, even with a probe and these immortals just pounding away at the Zealots. He needs some, I don't know, maybe try to take out this expansion as of here, and maybe do some economical damage, take out the probes. But no, he is again focusing fire on the army. I suppose he chooses to leave two Zealots to deal with all these probes, and they're very nice play. Now, finally focusing a little bit on the army and leaving a Zealot to do the econ damage while. So this is very good for Lindstorm, doing a lot of damage. There is a Dark Templar on the way. The Observer is still here for Lindstorm, so he will be able to see that Dark Templar still not expanding. He's almost completely mined out. If, I believe, that because of the resources, Lindstorm, uh, Wrong Wrong has actually mined from here. He is in the advantage right now. If he can hold off this attack, if he can hold on the Relentless Pressure and secure his expanding uh, his expansion as well. And, but he is actually going to lose the Nexus right here. And do we have any Dark Templar there? No, there is one Templar, uh, Dark Templar on the map. I have no idea where he is. I suppose he is, yes, he is sadly stuck inside the base of Lindstorm. And now Wrong Wrong has completely lost his entire army, reinforcing because there is no way to get in here because of this uh, uh, force field. Uh, because of that force field. And now uh, Lindstorm is gonna move in here, gonna unpower, uh, gonna try and unpower these uh, buildings. Not gonna happen. A lot of pylons here. And here we have a couple of more zealots running in there with that immortal, but there are a lot of stalkers, and that's mean, that means a lot of focus fire. This sentry is almost completely dead, no shields. So now Lindstorm is slowly gonna back up. No, we have this Dark Templar here gonna try and prevent any expansion. And now Wrong Wrong knows that he, if he manages to hold out, he will win. As you can see, almost completely mined out for. Uh, Wrong Wrong almost completely pined out for Lindstorm 
a 3000 resources deficit so we'll see exactly how this plays out it's all gonna come down to who loses more and reinforcing units from Lindstorm that's right we do have a pylon here and whoa four sentries so right now that's it that's all good game good game Lindstorm needs to call it as you can see separating the army this poor immortal can't do <laughs> can't do squat Zealot's gonna get taken out probes are not damaging units so right now the army size for wrong wrong is only one lonely immortal and the immortal is running away and more reinforcing units because uh, Lindstorm does have a little bit more resources left because he got created that deficit and Lindstorm manages to take the win Whew. so I'll see you guys next time Wait, what? The video isn't over. Why isn't the video over? The video isn't over. That can only mean one thing. Another game. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to game number 2 between Wrong Wrong the Protoss and Lindstorm the Protoss and we're gonna have this game on Blistering Sand so no more uh, short play we're, it's going to be a very fast direct map uh, and we're gonna see how these players actually match up in their second game will Wrong Wrong manage to avenge his loss where Lindstorm's continuously continually uh, reinforcing units, uh, reinforcing flow of units, managed to bring down Wrong Wrong and just to starve him out on one base. I suppose if Wrong Wrong would have defended his expansion a little bit better, maybe even gotten a couple of cannons, his defenses would have been a lot stronger. Actually, even using those Dark Templars uh, on the defensive, uh, taking out uh, first Lindstorm's Observer, then the Dark Templars would have gone to town on Lindstorm's army, but that didn't happen. So we'll see how this goes. Meanwhile, Lindstorm with a very early scout just laying down a pylon and well charging in there. If we look at the income tab, 10 harvesters. However, Lindstorm is in the is behind right now because that he has that uh, scout on the way. Uh, he's in here gonna see what's going on, but what what is gonna go on except a pylon and a gateway. Both players actually playing pretty normally, I have to say, no cheese as of yet, and just winning uh, through continuously use of pressure. These are the kinds of games I like. Simply because, well, I played a couple of StarCraft games again. Um, I uh, Casting all these games has gotten me in the mood, and after playing a couple of games, my mood of actually playing StarCraft has gone down again. Uh, as I said, I'm not in a diamond or anything I actually had a little bit of bad luck in my qualifying and instead of getting qualified a little bit high up I got qualified in bronze now the problem in bronze is simple cheese every single game is the same you play a Protoss you play versus a Protoss you get two gate if you get play versus a Terran you get uh, two racks early pressure if you get uh, if you go against a Zergling you have Zergling, Zergling rush uh, so ev everything is just cheese, 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 cheese. Everybody's playing cheese to move up, which is completely retarded. It, it completely def defies the point. Hello, you got cast into bronze because you can't play. I'll admit, I'm not that good of a player. I have a 118 average macro. Uh, I sometimes forget to get probes. Okay, I'm not that good of a player. So I get cast in bronze, so I can play with other people of my caliber, and we can learn off of each other's mistakes and move up in the rankings. No, everybody's in. Everybody's gonna go cheese, and it's completely annoying. It just takes all the fun away. I, I don't know. Could Blizzard actually monitor, monitor your build? And if you go the same build, I don't know, 10 games in a row you get banned for a week would that be would that work would that work to to go against cheese would still allow cheese in high level play i mean hey i've been, i've played the three four games classic this game i'm gonna go cheese and surprise my opponent sure go for it why not cheese is still a valuable tactic but going the same play again and again and again just completely defies the purpose of playing I saw an interesting day 9 video where he said that people uh, when they view a high level play tactic they don't actually think why is this working how is this working they just go oh he got he got mass uh, ravens I'm gonna go mass ravens he got that he got that I'm gonna go an exact copy of that play without actually feeling the play without actually understanding the play that is what I try to do that I try to make plays on how I feel they should work and sometimes I lose well sadly most times I lose because cheese um, 
and or I'm bring, or I'm completely forced into doing something that I don't like. Very nice proxy pylon right here for um, uh, Rong Rong, and actually can, he can actually reinforce up here. And there we go, we have a couple of reinforcing stalkers. This stalker will sadly fall. There is a zealot here, and only two gate, no, only two gate right now for. Oh, for poor wrong wrong so his ability to he has two stalkers and a couple and a zealot and we'll see only three gates now but with the four gates now but without any vision up here he won't be able to scout and now gonna take out the proxy pylon and this is a big inv well it's not necessarily a big investment if we look at the units lost tab sadly wrong wrong has only has lost units <laughs> while then storm has managed to defend that very nice there's a pylon here and the pylon actually went down before the units could be brought off cooldown so we have the probe here we'll see how this goes um getting back to my little rant about cheese is it so wrong if you go the identical play an identical build uh 10 games in a row you lose it'll completely force low level players to diversify uh, you get that it'll completely force low level players to you know diversify I suppose, uh, I suppose again, this would probably result in cheesing nine nine games, then playing a normal game, cheesing nine games, then just playing normal game. And now we have a proxy pylon for Limstorm, and he has a huge army here. And sadly, Wrong Wrong can't defend against this. I believe that this is completely over. Bringing a, a couple of more zealots. If we look at the units lab tab right now, Wrong Wrong only has two zealots and calls the GG, and Limstorm winning again. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that second game was morally put in, uh, mostly put in there for my rant against cheese and my rant against how to, you know, maybe try and make the game a little more viable in the lower leagues. I mean, it's uh, StarCraft 2 as a viewer sport is phenomenal. Why? Because you get diamond level plays and master level plays now and you just enjoy yourself while watching the video and enjoy yourself while seeing a gameplay oh my god that was so cool he got stalkers to combat that thing and he got that thing he got marauders but then the marauders were countered by that and by immortals and then immortals were count countered by mass marines and just counter after counter after play after play or whoa he got that cheese early fast but no uh, low level players completely try to get into diamond league not realizing that well they're in a league for a certain reason and diamond there has to be bad players you've been classified as a bad player here's a thought learn to play instead of just doing the same play whoa you've perfected your cheese do that against hydra he'll just go mad and then tear down your base in a couple of seconds do that against huck against liquid tlo Against non, against the wind, against I don't know every single player. Against Lindstorm, Lindstorm defended here a very nice cheese. Against the warp ins, but hey, these players are not playing cheese. So yeah, there you go. So that's how that's my opinion. So all I have to say right now is thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.